All right, let's get back into the United States. What's happening there? Iowa AG Brenna Bird. I'm predicting a historic win in Iowa caucus for Donald Trump. I don't think there's going to be an election. I, I could be dead wrong, but I just don't see them having an election in 2024. And if there is, if there is an election in 2024, I think it's going to be very problematic. And and if let's say Donald Trump does win, it he's going to be under very strict um, procedure on what he could say and can't say and can't do and what could do, what agreements to sign. I don't know. I'm just letting you guys know. I just think something's going to happen to this guy in July, August of next year. Just something, something is brewing, and I just feel it. So before you call my store or before you are a police, I, a police or some alphabet company calling me at my store asking me how I know this information, it's just something I'm feeling. So... And will hackers cripple America with a cyber attack? Experts say it might happen in 2024. This is Natural News. Ethan Huff reporting this. Uh, the currently fictitious subject matter of the new apocalyptic dystopian thriller film, Leave the World Behind. Hey, our, our last caller just talked about that. A project Barack Obama's higher ground productions company could soon become a rea reality. So look at that. A project of Barack Obama's Higher Ground Productions. What are the odds of that, folks? Wow. It's a sign, folks. You're getting a sign here on Mike of the Night. The film depicts the United States in a full-scale collapse due to a cyber attack that takes down everything from phone lines to power grid uh, to the Internet and even satellites in orbit, 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 orbit in currently globalized world. All of those things are vital to the continuity of the current world order. Without them, Leave the World Behind would become a documentary rather than a fictionist, fictionist thriller. Now, we talked about back on Mike of the Night in 2017 when that solar flare hit in the late 1800s, how it didn't create a lot of damage all it, uh, because there wasn't a lot of electronics at that time. And anything that was of electronic was like singed or burnt were telegraph lines telegraph telegraph lines were taken and um had to be replaced and but but um if it could do that to telegraph lines and we were talking about the you know solar flare, solar flares corona ejections and we had some we had a really good caller call in about the sun explaining the sun to us and its orbits and stuff i'm going to find that, that that episode and maybe cut it up into shorter videos for you guys so uh, New World Order is birth, and that's what they're going for. Taking out power to 100 homes would generate a little interest and have uh, an eligible impact. Wright warned the global power attack is to cause a massive disruption and create the conditions to overwhelm public safety and response of federal authorities. So, it, you know, you can't get your gas because the gas pumps work off electricity. You can't get, obviously, you can't turn on your computer. There's a lot of things you just can't do. And preparedness is important to prepare mentally, spiritually, and physically. Just make sure you have a few candles, a few lighters, waterproof matches, a couple of things you can go pick up at the dollar store. Like the last guest said, don't go crazy. Don't overdo it. You could pick up a lot of survival. You could get twine, rope, uh, zap straps, zip ties, whatever you want to call them. Stuff at the dollar store could get you by and probably save you, right? Uh, a lot of stuff you could pick up at the dollar store that could get that could pretty much extend your life expectancy if something was to happen of that magnitude, right? And new record border patrol reports 302,000 illegal migrants encounters in December alone. So this is Canada, America falling under its own weight and the migrant trains are moving strong. The migrant trains started moving during the Biden selection. And latest, latest figures show the United States broke a new record in a month of December as far as illegal immigrants go. Customs Border Patrol CBP reported an outstanding 302,000 encounters last month with illegal aliens since October 1st. The figure amounts to 785,000 illegal migrant encounters. So the America is being taken down. Um, Canada is being taken down through money laundering and building more homes like the article we covered here for you guys. 
Uh, where is it? Yeah, Canada economy dangerously concentrated in real estate, but government wants more. So they want to build, Canada wants to build, Australia, New Zealand, and the UK want to build their economies off of building housing, overpriced, money laundering, foreign investing. They want to build and export homes to foreigners, but not really export the homes, sell them locally and leave them empty, right? And um, yeah, big, big, big problems, big problems. And now with, with the United States, we were talking back in 2018 about the Chinese shock troops coming in from the Mexican side and being implanted into America, right? And we were warning Americans, we, I'm gonna triple down on this. We've been warning Americans on here saying, hey, America, your problem isn't Iraq and Iran. Your problem is Canada. Wake up, America. We have a video from, from 2015 talking about that. Wake up, America. Your threat isn't Iraq and Iran. It's Canada. Right? And uh, yeah. Let's head over back to the comments, guys. You can join us live on Mike of the Night, guys. This is episode 541.